today I would like for you to join me as I make me some um, yogurt parfait. This is how I make it. And we're going to talk about our spiritual journey today. So, you know I got to put my glasses on. So today, let me start off first with saying I hope everyone had a great week and will have a great week. So, what are we talking about today? First of all, I want you to believe. I wonder why these, they come up upside down. I don't care. I, believe. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to believe in a higher power. I want you to believe that no matter what, you will make it through. So that's our uh, inspiration board. This is what I'm gonna put on mine. So if you're new here, thank you for clicking. I hope you stay. Some people heard anything about uh, spiritual or God or anything like that. They'd be like, okay, click off. That's fine too. But if you're staying, great. Um, I hope Sorry about the ring light that you're going to see in my glasses. But you know I need these glasses. Okay, I got to see. So, first thing is believe. Let me get my bowl for my yoga. So, I got these wonderful bowls from a thrift store. Um, and they are perfect. Perfect for making yogurt. So the yogurt that I'm using today is the Keto Friendly Yogurt by Ratio. I get it from my Publix, but I'm quite sure it's probably somewhere in your neighborhood or at a grocery store near you. So it has 15 grams of fat, two, um, 26 grams of uh, carbs, 15 grams of protein, and one gram of this. This stuff is so little of sugar. So what I like to do is I take my granola protein and I get the one from uh, Natural Valley, the cranberry almond, and I like to put that in the bottom of the boat. So I put that in the bottom of the bowl. So you know what I do here is I'm doing something, cooking, I'm eating, I'm making my coffee, and we talk about what we're gonna do this week to help with our spirit. So I put the granola in there. Look at that granola, isn't it? I, th I guess this is called a yoga profane, right? When you put yogurt and then you put stuff in it, yeah. So, like I said, if you're new, what I do is I have an inspiration board and I like to put things that's going to inspire me for that week. So, the next card that's going on my inspiration board is become an observer of your negative thoughts and you will naturally shift them. So, what does that mean? It means if you always going to think negative, then it's gonna be negative. But if you shift it and you think positive, whether it works out or not, you will feel better because you put an effort into making that a positive thing and not a negative. Don't forget, you can't control others. So please do not try to make someone else have positive thoughts because you cannot control anyone else. But if you are positive, it other people feed off it. So. That card is wonderful because I need it for work. I'm going to become an observer of it. I'm not going to be a participant. I'm going to be an observer. I'm not going to be negative. With that thought, hmm. the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yogurt and I'm going to put it on top of my granola. This yogurt is so delicious. If you don't like yogurt, this yogurt 
tastes so good by itself. It is the only yogurt I have ever used that tastes good by itself, that I didn't need to put nothing on it. But I'm hungry. It's a quarter to three. I haven't eaten nothing all day. Cause when I'm filming, uh, when I film, I like to film more than one video. And I don't like feeling stuffed and heavy when I film. Your clothes all tight because you bloated. I don't, I do it on an empty stomach and that's the way I film. Man, it looks better because you don't look all bloated like you, you know. Okay, so what I forgot to get that I also apply is my cinnamon. Look how big this cinnamon thing is and look how much is left. I put cinnamon. I put cinnamon on everything. So then I'm gonna put my cinnamon on top. Cinnamon is very good for you. So let me show you. So I got my granola at the bottom, my yogurt, and then my cinnamon. Next card. Next card is the universe may separate you from people who can't go with you to the next level. Don't make me start jumping in here. Let me repeat it. The universe may separate you from people who can't go with you to the next level. <laughs> I'm wrong for that. <laughs> I'm so wrong for that, I'm sorry. But it makes you feel good, right? You wonder why that person, you like, oh my goodness. You so worried about why that person, you know, either don't want you no more or why y'all couldn't make it. But yet and still, you done moved up to the next level. So concentrate on that and don't worry about that. Because it was meant. That person couldn't go with you to the next level. Friends. You had to leave some behind. You didn't end friendships. They just not on that next level with you. So you have to leave some people behind. Friends are seasons. And sometimes you repeat that season. And then sometimes you don't. So don't dwell on it. Because you wonder why, oh my God, why we just can't get along. But yet and still your life is moving. Go ahead and go backwards if you want to, and then you're stuck. And then you are stuck. These two things, y'all, mmm. These two cards, opening some eyes. Opening some eyes. Okay. Then I take my whipped cream, and the whipped cream I use is the Lando Lakes Sugar Free Whipped Heavy Cream. It's extra creamy. I want it to be like, see how that sound when it came out? You can barely hear it. Then I take my cinnamon and I put a little more cinnamon on top. This is my parfait. My granola, my yogurt, my whipped cream. Healthy, healthy, healthy looks delicious all right what is the scripture for today look at that i'm not even keeping you that long james 1 james chapter 1 verse 2 through 3 let me make sure that i say that like it's supposed to be so if you don't read the bible like you should this is me and you learning because we probably don't read the Bible like we should. But this is me and you learning. I get a mentor to help me understand the scriptures and to make sure that I'm not relaying anything that's not true. But it's for you. God speaks to you when you have a relationship. So it may mean something in your life at that moment. That for me is just the scripture that I'm reading. You know, you take everything, it's filling you, it's bread. But at the moment, it may have a different meaning. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the scripture. 
consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. What they tell you, what they say, you gotta keep doing something in order to really get it, right? You gotta exercise consistently to get the results. You got to um, consistent, consistently learn. If you're learning something new, you gotta consistently do it before you got it. If your perception is negative, then your approach is negative. So, if you already saying this, okay, I'm gonna go to work when we went in the office. I let something outside interfere with my spirit, spirit going inside to do my job. So I'm already negative. I've already got the, the, the negative thoughts in my head, the spirit. So when I go to work, you wonder why your day was so bad because you came in and your everything you touched after that went downhill. If you come into a relationship because you've been hurt before, because you have baggage, if you do not let that baggage go, then you bring those bags with you. I do not want bags. I don't want someone that's bringing bags. So what we have to learn to do is approach everything in a positive manner. Today, I don't care what just happened in my household on the way to work. When I walk in the door, I'm positive because I would like a positive day. When you wake up in the morning, make your bed, wash your face, brush your teeth, put on some moisturizer, honey, put you on something that makes you feel good, not something that already makes you down. You just had on these same pajamas for four days. Put on something. I don't care if you done went out there and bought a set, put that set on. Do something to start your day with a positive approach. So, like I said, if you go to Mal and you find out, wait a minute, God took me through something. While you're in it, you hear it all the time. While you're in the storm, it's like, oh my God, I can't get through this. Oh my God, help me Jesus. Oh my God, oh, what's happening? Oh, oh. And you think you're not going to make it. Then when you make it through it, you forget all about it five minutes later. Did you learn from it? Did you see you made it through? Now you on to the next race if it's needed because it's teaching you something. But if you just made it through, you ain't heard nothing, you ain't learned nothing, you didn't see why you went through it or the wet, the wet behind it, maybe you gotta repeat it again. You ever had a repeated trial you had to go through? Mm, okay. So if you walk with faith, that's the second portion. Let me get it again. Um, the testing of your faith develops perseverance. The testing of your faith. So everything comes down to faith. Everything comes down to the faith. Okay. For me, I have to have faith in the higher power, which is my Lord and Savior. But I also got to believe in myself because it's not a one-way relationship. I also got to believe. So, go out there, read the scripture for yourself. Maybe you like my yoga parfait and you're gonna copy it and say mm, that was good leave me a comment down below if you have a discussion you want guys i hope you have a wonderful week stay positive like subscribe bye guys